That's a good view. I'm gonna put my tent right there. I step right here. March 21st, 7.44 in the morning. <laughs> it's a good spot to drink coffee right here. Got it all packed up. I did it. Got it all on there. I'm gonna shoot for it. I like to go big. I'm not gonna lie. I got big dreams and big aspirations. Sometimes it takes a large amount of movement to get some of that done. So 81 miles, I think it's time to start trucking. Oh, you know, this is my kind of stop. Coffee and bicycles. Okay. It's a good way to get the day started right here. You know, it's definitely right to stop here. This is an awesome place. Green bike co-op. Gave me two free spokes. That's, all, that's the only thing I needed because I just replaced three of them. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and get a little coffee. And uh, 75 miles. Let's do it. Newport, the friendliest. Oh, this sounds cool. Oh, whoa. Ah, whoa. Oh, I think we might be climbing a little hill. Let's get it. Those clouds look kind of shady, but sun's still shining right here. We're cruising. We're moving so fast today compared to usual. Oh yeah, this is definitely the top right here. Oh nice. Let's get it. That is incredible. Oh, look at all of them. Wow. You know, I'm pretty tired, and this is definitely pretty tough. But at the same time, somehow it's pretty freaking awesome. There's all kind of birds and waterfalls. And... I don't know. It's just cool. And I definitely said to myself, I told myself this morning when I got up, I was going to pedal 81 miles today, and I'm almost there. Like, there's definitely no reason to start complaining now. Super tough, but I'm all right, right? You know? Shoot. That's it. Right there. Look at that. $8 hiking bike. 8 o'clock, 80 miles. That's no joke. That was freaking tough, but I did it. That's the second 80 mile day of this freaking week. That's not bad. Coffee time. Yeah. You know, I woke up with $31 in my pocket this morning. Liz Davidson. 
donated 200 freaking dollars sometimes i can't even believe the amount of support i get from some of you all of you are just really amazing to have around 100 percent we're building quite the team here aren't we let's just uh let's hope we can make good use of it straight balling this is an amazing day not to be riding a bicycle i have to say it's raining <laughs> Got it, I got it, I did it again. 9.52, you know, I'm sitting around like, man, this is taking forever. This is just taking way minutes. too freaking long, but I did it again though. It's all packed, you know? It's kind of cloudy today, but there's a campsite 40 miles down the road. Last time we hit it, did 80. I don't think we're gonna have too many problems. It looks like a pretty straightforward route. 350 miles to the Canadian border, so. Let's just, uh, let's just keep working on it. Straight ball. Somehow it's three o'clock already. Oh, I can't believe it. But I went grocery shopping. I got my clothes clean. I'm feeling fresh. The skies look a little murky out there, but sun's still coming through. We got 25 miles to this next campsite I got planned out. I figure out. Uh, let's go do it. This one actually has a person inside. That's kind of crazy. Cool. He said we're cold. Look at this spot right here. I don't know. I just paid for one night. See how I feel in the morning. I feel great though. It's 40 miles. Got my clothes clean. I got some food and freaking. What does it say? 733. March 25th. <sighs> Last night was my second night here. And you're only allowed to stay three. Now, I'm not sure if this is something you know about me or not, but I am definitely one of those people that will spend every last dollar I have and every last ounce of energy left in me to accomplish my goals and dreams. And when it comes down to having a little bit of money in your pocket, I am, I am absolutely fantastic at spending every last penny of it trying to do something great. And yesterday, I spent over 11 hours on the computer in this tent walking back and forth from that electrical outlet trying to get this video up and i didn't just i just didn't get it done i didn't want to you know just slap it out there so march 26 7 28 in the morning blue skies huh. steadily creeping on a come up Look at that. That's where we woke up this morning, down there on that beach. Ooh, that's awesome. Ah! <laughs> that's the sign I'm looking for right there. That's it. Ooh. Shazam. I'm allowed to stay three nights here. It's $8 a night. I went ahead and paid for two. They even have electricity with like storage blockers and that's like a, that's an incredible resource for somebody like me on a bicycle right now doing what I'm doing. They got water right there. When I went and registered for the campsite, the lady told me that um, they have heated tile in the showers or something like that. I don't know. I might have to go check that out. Sounds pretty good. It's all looking pretty fine and dandy where I'm sitting right now. So, yeah, we're we're only miles from Washington. I looked it up, it's less than 300 miles to the border, like all the way to the Canadian border where you'll cross over and just ride on over to Alaska. It's not far. It's not, it's a bicycle tour without a little bit of sightseeing, right? Fort Stevens is pretty cool. It's an old looking building right here. <laughs> nice. Hello. Pretty cool. Oh, the shell room. It's a fairly extensive fort still left over out here. They got this section blocked off pretty good. It's starting to fall, but it's still here. A solid building right there. All concrete.
I bet you they got tunnels in all these uh, hills right here too. Too bad. They See, there's a door right there. Looks like it's locked. Let's go make sure, just in case we can check it out. Pretty freaking cool though. 